welcome Amelia to the podcast studio. Uh, here to talk about is for everyone. So, um, how how many? long has it been since it, I guess it was announced? So we launched on May 18th. Okay. So it's been an, enough time to get out there and maybe get some stuff going, right? Yeah, we've definitely got a lot of traction, a lot of great support in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not been too long, but right. uh, you know, it's definitely a, a long-term process. It's a two to three year initiative, Okay, uh, but we've definitely got a lot of traction, a lot of feedback, um, and have some good direction and a lot of plans for where we want to go. Okay. So I guess one, one of my questions, uh, is, um, like who is behind this initiative? Cause it's not, it's not the city of Evansville, right? Right. Correct. Yeah. It's, um, it is a hundred percent a grassroots effort. Um, it, in the beginning, this has been like a two year process, two or three years. Right. Um, in the beginning, you know, some, um, business leaders, community leaders got together after, a series of events like there was that um, survey that said Evansville was the most unhappy city. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. business leaders started to notice that uh, the millennial community wasn't as strong, the mm-hmm. talent pool wasn't as strong as they were hoping it would be for young talent. Um, and just kind of a series of those events led to people saying, We got to do something. Right. You know, uh, local restaurants started to pop up and uh, community events. And things that we wanted to celebrate, but n- there was no real unified group that everyone could kind of rally behind and say, look what Evansville has. Like, this is great. Kind of the cheerleader for the community, sure, yeah. you know? So, um, so that's kind of how it all started. And then one thing led to another. And before you know it, a group of agencies in town and creative individuals who might normally compete mm-hmm. for business are collaborating to bring the Evansville brand to life. Right. Uh, there was a lot of community listening that went into that, uh, some focus groups, uh, surveys, things like that. Uh, the folks that were involved in the beginning probably did like a hundred presentations, talking to people, getting their feedback, getting their input right. on what this should be. Okay. Um, so it definitely kind of has grown from the bottom up and that's our plan to keep it that way. Uh, you know, we've got a, a team working on kind of keeping everything going in the momentum, but our goal long-term is to take it from our hands mm-hmm. and really put it in the hands of the community and have it be a, almost a community run initiative. That's, you know, minimal right. management from right. a small group, you know? Yeah. So, so, so these are like businesses in town that kind of have banded together to start this or I was um, just always confused oh, no. by the whole, it, like who, who these people were, the start of it. So yeah, it's, it's it's such a large group of people that okay. have been involved, so that's why it's yeah, understandable it's, I mean, that it's, it's hard confusing. To, yeah. yeah, so um, it's uh, we had the support and the input from local businesses, but mm-hmm. then also like uh, the convention visitors bureau, okay, the mayor's sure. office, right. um, smaller businesses. It's been um, and also like uh, other community event like partnerships like um, Ola and mm-hmm. um, other groups like that that are more organizational based, not business based. So right, right. Um, it, it has been, I mean, there've been over a hundred individuals and groups involved throughout the whole thing. So, <laughs> so you're not going to go down the list and say, Here, <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, a, 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 starting with a, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, right. Okay. But that was, um, that was a huge focus and something that was a priority was to make sure that we got input from at least one group in every, mm-hmm. you know, in every different diversity pocket and uh, yeah so so you mentioned you get feedback from the so what kind of have you is it been positive negative mixed or what what have you what have you heard yeah it's been a mix i mean es for everyone is a really strong statement to put out there yes i have (laughs) questions about that (laughs) yeah so it's um you know there have been there i i would say Overwhelmingly, it's been positive. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are have been looking for something like this, and there are other small and uh, groups that are doing similar work. And right. we started to see that as we rolled this out, and so we've tried to collaborate with as many of those people as possible. So mm-hmm. you know, we didn't, we never wanted anybody to see this initiative as competitive or sure. um, anything but collaborative because right. I mean that's the core of all of it um, you know when you say everyone 
again, that's a strong <laughs> word. So, you know, there's definitely an aspect of it that's aspirational. Okay. I, me personally, I always like to say you dress for the job you want. So this sure. is where Fake we... Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> uh, I mean, there, yeah, because yeah. we were talking with somebody and they, I was like, I think it's a, not a statement of fact at this point. It's a statement of hope more. Right. Than, yeah. Than, it's This is this is where we want Evansville to go. Sure. Um, kind of the tagline is, you know, connect contribute celebrate so okay. see the see the positive things talk those up kind of change it's um we get a lot of questions about what can i do how can i get involved mm -hmm. and there are definitely some tangible things that you can do but really the heart of it is a culture shift it's a mindset shift it's right. like changing the heart of evansville yeah. you know where we've had I some heard, yeah. you know like not so great Sure. Ways to think and talk about Evansville to our neighbors and uh, visitors and tourists and yeah. things. So it's kind of like uh, the beginning of trying to help everyone kind of shift the way that they think about Evansville and then therefore talk about Evansville. Right. Yeah. It's. Yeah. It's definitely. It's. It's easy to. To downplay wherever you live. It's. It's. Easy oh yeah. To just complain. Oh, Everybody wants to complain. You know what? So it, it doesn't matter. What you're <laughs> in Rachel Goldman's interview, yeah. my favorite. She. I mean, she just nailed it. She said, um, living anywhere requires a certain amount of buy-in and that couldn't be more true. Oh, yeah. You know, she, you know, she travels all over, so she, uh, has seen right. it firsthand. So we were glad that she kind of brought that up in her interview. Yeah. Um, Cause it's so true in New York, people complain about, you know, the bad things and right. in Denver, you know, it's like, Oh, I had the worst day in Denver. She yeah. says, so <laughs> yeah. it's so, and, and I, I moved here from Louisville and it's kind of the same thing there. Mm -hmm. We were back for a wedding um, a couple weekends ago, and our friends were saying, God, there are no jobs here. We've got to move to Nashville. <laughs> right. And I'm thinking, okay, there it is. Like, I've, I've I see heard this it now. Story yeah, it's like you, <laughs> right. you have to buy in. So, yeah, yeah, I, I get that. So, um, you mentioned like more of the tangible things. Uh, what are some of the things that people can do to help out if they want to, or how can they get involved with that? Yeah, so there's um, a group that we're building right now called the Brand Champion Group. Mm -hmm. And so anyone as an individual that is fired up about the community, the initiative itself, that just wants to be part of this change right. um, can join that group. There's a form on the website, esforeveryone.com, and it's uh, Be a Champion. There's a link in the footer of the website. Okay. So you can go there, fill out the form. Uh, we're actually having um, kind of a, a kickoff event next Wednesday for the folks that have already signed up. Um, but you can sign up anytime, but, mm -hmm. but that's going to be kind of the beginnings of getting that group organized and structured now that we're seeing more clearly what the needs are. Um, like for example, there's so many events in the community and we want right. to be at all of them, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we're a small but it's team. Exhausting. <laughs> it's exciting. You know, it's a lot of time. Um, it's, it's so fun when we're there, mm -hmm. but we, you know, want to spread spread the fun a little bit. Sure. So we're envisioning that there'll be almost a committee of, of this brand champion group that is tasked with volunteering, you know, we'll set up shifts, whatnot sure. to get out into these community events and, and have the presence of the brand there. So okay. that's just one example. Yeah. Now the whole, the E part, um, it's lowercase e, but does it always have to be lowercase no. e? Okay. So, <laughs> now there's a brain guideline. Yeah. I'm glad you asked. We've gotten a lot of questions yeah. about that and totally understandable. We're all so used to having these brands, especially as in the marketing yeah. industry, we're like brand standards. You have to right. stick to those. <laughs> so there is the official brand logo. Mm -hmm. And so when people use that, we do hope that they'll stick to those brand guidelines. But the idea is that E is for everyone. So it's going to mean something different to everyone. Right. So the idea is that you buy in, you show your support by creating your own E. So individuals can, most for the most part so far, businesses have been the ones to do mm -hmm. it. Um, but then a gal was um, on vacation up in Maine and created an E out of pebbles on oh, the beach where okay. she was and posted a photo, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, so it can, it can really be anything from anyone and we've actually got we've started uh we were so inspired by all the things that were being created that we decided to add them all uh to our website mm -hmm. so there's a create your own e 
uh, page also link in the footer where you can kind of see all the different examples and kind of get some inspiration there. Okay. Yeah. And then on the website, I noticed you have some stories from a few people that, and you're rolling out, I, guess, I would assume that that'll keep going on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the core of the brand is really telling our stories. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of, uh, the, the, the heart of Evansville, uh, to show, to show people what's out there, uh, and in telling those stories where our main mission is to kind of show that the energy and the action that's being, that's happening, mm-hmm. not so much to um, promote a business or a specific person, sure. but it's more to, to display um, the incredible things that are happening. We have been just wildly inspired by all of these people and are continuing to find, you know, my boss always says, you know, I, we think we're connected in the community, but every day we're finding <laughs> more events and, and right. people that are out there creating the life that they want for themselves here in Evansville. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of a common thread throughout a lot of the stories is, you know, whether someone's from Evansville or is a transplant here, that they haven't been inhibited by this this uh, misconception that Evansville is too small to do cool stuff. Right. And they're, they're proving it wrong, you know, by, by doing exactly what they want, whether it's opening a yoga studio or starting a magazine or podcast, you know, that's what we want to showcase. So it doesn't have to be anybody that owns a business or is doing something Mm -hmm. quote unquote extraordinary. It can be somebody totally ordinary that's doing amazing things. Right. So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, no, that's cool. That I'm glad you're doing that. And also, the pictures are amazing. I mean, Alex Morgan. Yes, we have an incredible team. <laughs> yeah. So Alex Morgan um, is working with us. He's been a fantastic influence on the project. Yeah. Um, he's shooting the video and the photos for the stories, but then he's also uh, coming to the community events where we're where we're able to go mm-hmm. and taking photos. Uh, there's a photo library as part of the site that anyone can go to, uh, read the waiver, yeah. click the acceptance right, right. of the waiver. Do not abuse the, exactly. the photos. Um, and so we've started the library there. It will grow over time mm-hmm. with some of these community uh, photos and things like that. So okay. I know a lot of people have been excited about that, particularly businesses, because you know with marketing things and social media, it's hard sure. to find high quality photos yes. that are local. So right, right. that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. The high quality yeah. part <laughs> and, and the, the rights to them too. You, exactly. You know, yeah. You don't be a jerk and right. steal, steal somebody's <laughs> yes, read hard, those hard carefully. work. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's, but that, that, that was very impressive. Um, just when we saw the video at the launch, uh, the, just, I mean, the, the pictures are stunning. So yeah. 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 That, uh, that video was a, uh, uh, labor of love. Yeah. <laughs> that was a huge team effort. Uh, yeah. There were a ton of people involved in that, um, hmm. and it uh, we we watch it ten times a day. We love it. So, <laughs> <laughs> have you heard any good? You don't have to answer this. But have you heard any good jokes about the slogan or anything or the you know no. the use for every one of you? Not heard anything? I think it's one of those things where because I'm involved, like yeah, no one people would say won't it to my you. face. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was but hoping, I'd love to know. Oh, now maybe you had some dirt. No, I know the one. The one I hear the most is like the E is for ecstasy. So oh. I thought people were going to be like handing out <laughs> pills at these events or something. To, no, 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 okay. not yeah. uh, wrong initiative. Wrong yeah, one. Wrong okay, one. that was yeah. a different. A different. Yeah. Uh, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Stay in school. Okay. No, I didn't know if, it, if you had any good dirt yet. <laughs> no, but it's early on, so you'll probably have know. some good yeah. stories. I'm sure they'll. You know, I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do, right? So yeah. I don't know. That and that's okay. He is for them too. So sure. Hey, <laughs> it's for everyone. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get involved with this then? Um, so I work with Gray Loon Marketing. Okay. And so we're one of the um, agencies that's involved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Gray Loon, Tin Adams, and then also Matt Wagner mm-hmm. and Rachel Wambach are involved. Um, yeah. Leslie Davis with City Social is part of the team, and then Alex, I see of course. Leslie at everything. Yeah, so she is a rock star. She has uh, been such a weekend warrior, mm-hmm. um, and has helped us coordinate with all the um, the leaders of these events to kind of uh, make sure that they're comfortable with us being there, and then how we can be present. So whether it's through the pop up banners or the step and repeat with T shirts, things like that. Sure. Um, just making sure that. 
uh, we, don't, we don't show up, you know, so right. <laughs> like, Hey, we're here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, she's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So okay. we've got a great team. Yeah. That's cool. And, uh, now for you specifically, not speaking as ease for everyone, maybe I like to ask a couple of Unzel questions. Okay. They're not hard questions. Uh-oh. You're not getting in okay. trouble. Um, but like, is there a hidden gem in Evansville that you think more people should know about? That's a loaded question. There's so many. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah. I think um, I'm a big restaurant person. I'm a big local Mm -hmm. restaurant person moving from Louisville. um, It seemed like all the local restaurants were bits, were hidden gems in a way. Sure, yeah. Um, And so we've really enjoyed exploring those and getting, finding out about more every time. It's like, Oh, we have to go try this place (laughs) now. I didn't know about that place. Um, so yeah, I think that, and then I think the people really, I mean, that sounds, you know, like a staged answer, but, (laughs) but it's true. You know, I think that the people here are the hidden gems Mm -hmm. that you don't see, um, a lot of the innovation that's going on right away. Um, and so I think that's, that's part of this initiative too, is to bring all those things to the surface. Right. Uh, when we moved, my husband and I, we would say, you know, there's really cool stuff happening and really cool things to do. You just have to look a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. So I think with the ES for Everyone initiative, part of the goal is you don't have to look as hard. It's all there. Right. You know, easy to find, a little bit more celebrated. Yeah. As someone who's not from here, but is here, uh, is there something that you wish we had that we don't have right now? I think, I think it's starting. I think that shop local, that support for small businesses Mm -hmm. is starting. And that excites me because I am so passionate about that. I mean, those are, those are the brave people, you know, they're willing to take a risk and start a business and, Mm -hmm. you know, it keeps, it keeps the money in the economy and you're supporting your neighbor. It just, there are so many amazing benefits to shopping local. So I'm excited to see that continue to grow. Yeah. Yeah, that is, it's just talking with people that, that do that. It's crazy how, I mean, yeah. like, why are you doing, why are <laughs> no. you doing, the, putting yourself through this? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's interesting. So going forward, um, the E is for everyone. Uh, so like future goals, you mentioned that you, you hope that, or the hope is that the community just kind of takes the ball and runs with it basically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is there anything coming up here? in the next couple of months maybe that's on the it's like a big what isn't thing i mean i don't know if there's a for like a specific thing that that we should be like looking for i know like all these events that are coming up but yeah. is there like a special ease for everyone event or are you just attending all the other events right yeah um before all this launched and you're kind of having those um like pre-wedding jitter kind of things or like, okay, people can love this or they can just totally ignore it. And you're kind of in that self doubt phase. We were thinking, um, okay, if we have an, uh, if we have our own event for this, no one will come because Mm -hmm. no one knows what's happening. So that's where, that's kind of what brought about the community event rolling out over a series of months at these community events. Gotcha. So we'll continue to do that. We'll continue to um, add stories to the website. We've got uh, four interviews in the works right now. Cool. We'll continue to add to the neighborhood sections, to the innovative history sections. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and my hope, and I think the team's hope too, is that some of that some of those stories will come from the community and we've gotten right. a lot of submissions through the website okay, for stuff like yeah. that. So, so you're not, it's, it's, it is, we're wanting that, right? You're yeah. wanting people to send Oh my stuff. gosh. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good. That's, I mean, if this is all community run in a year or two, that will have succeeded, yeah. you know, so. not going to be sad. <laughs> to not have to. <laughs> It'll be, I mean, it's, it has been um, a life changing project, I think for everyone on the team. I mean, it's just been, yeah. It's been inspiring. It's been, um, it's been challenging, but mm-hmm. in a, but in like, but in that like makes you stronger kind of way, yeah, you know? So, yeah. I mean, it's been really great. Well, the, I mean, if you start digging deep into your community and then you still like it, I mean, that's probably yeah, a good sign, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you, it's good to question, yeah, it's good to, I, um, I mean, you you're know, not just want to be rah, rah cheerleader blinders on exactly. And just, you know, ignore problems. I mean, yeah. not, that's not the goal of it, right? It's, yeah, it's not more at of all. a shift in mindset. Say, Hey, we're let's, let's make things better if they're wrong. 
And if they're right, let's talk about it and make yeah. sure people know about it. Right? Yeah. Like when we um, do these interviews, we say, you know, we've got our list of questions. Yeah. And we say, be honest, you know, say what you really think. <laughs> Which <laughs> in the Midwest, <laughs> people would rather just tell you, hey, everything's great. And then never talk to you again. Right. Like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Right. No, that's but um, that's not what you want. Exactly. You want people to say the the, the real things. Real yeah, okay. exactly. Like when I'm chatting with somebody before an interview, I'll say, you know, if you don't if you don't like a question, we can skip it. But you know, yeah, give us your real answer. Um, obviously, we want to present Evansville in a positive light, but we don't want to gloss over any of the issues that are out there. We mm-hmm. want to kind of bring those things to the surface because that's the only way you can deal with them. So. Right. Yeah. Ignoring them hasn't worked. <laughs> right. It never works. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and I think some of the feedback we've gotten too is you know because because that's part of what ES for everyone is it's bringing these issues to the surface, it's bringing the good stuff to the surface, and it's right. bringing the challenges to the surface too. Um, internally, we've been trying to decide like, okay, well this is a this is a branding initiative, but it's kind of it's kind of becoming much bigger. It's yeah. becoming. Um, a community movement, which is awesome. So it's just tr- trying to figure out, okay, where does where is the line for us? Like, right. when do we yeah. turn it over to you know right. the mayor's office or you know the chamber or people that can actually do more to make change real? So um, yeah, so yeah, we're because you're the, the the face, but then at the, some point you're like, I can't really do anything about this, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I'm yeah. you know. Right, We're, but you get you I mean you've gotten buy in from the mayor's absolutely. office and, and the chamber as well, and yeah, they've been involved throughout the process. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been great to offer feedback and um, advice from the world that they see. Sure. Uh, they're definitely, I mean, we're you know we're a bunch of marketers, so <laughs> our <laughs> our perspective is definitely different than someone whose job is to uh, communicate and work with the community every day. So. Uh, yeah. They've been great, uh, great support and a great resource for us. Right. And was there any other slogans or phrases that were considered? There were three. Okay. Uh, there were three initially, and they uh, we did you know, focus groups mm-hmm. and um, surveys and things like that. And the people from those groups picked yes for everyone. Okay. So. Are we allowed to talk about the other ones, or um, we, we kicked them to the curb and <laughs> said we'll never speak of you again? We can, but honestly, I can't remember. What they oh, okay, are that good. Is <laughs> that good? I wasn't involved at that okay. stage okay. yet, too. So. No, I was yeah. like, I'm always wondering. I didn't feel like you had a favorite and it didn't get picked. <laughs> like, Dang it! No, no. no right, this is right. always. I think this was everyone's favorite to begin with. So, you have. I've heard people confuse it. They'll say is for everybody mm-hmm. or is for Evansville. Yeah. I mean, what's the thought, I guess, of not having Evansville in the name of of that and just having the E? Is that a, has anybody mentioned that or anything? Um, I think it's because it's a, it's not just Evansville. I think it's the region as well. Okay. Um, so we didn't want to um, make it feel exclusive in any way. Okay. So the E can be whatever. So you're looking for more of a greater Evansville area yeah. than a Evansville specific. Right. Cause okay. we're all, I mean, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. You'll you take, know? take everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> okay. I, I think that helps. That helps me cause I did have Good. questions about that. I was wondering okay. about a couple of those things. So, yeah. Didn't mean to grill you or anything. No, that's so. this is great. I mean, it's a it's a huge initiative. There are a lot of components to it. Sure, yeah. So it's it's kind of complex and can be confusing. Mm-hmm. We I think over time it'll become more integrated and easier yeah. to live it and Okay. And so people to find it the website the best place? Yeah, esforeveryone.com. dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Okay. Uh, Facebook and Instagram are um, ES for Everyone EVV, mm-hmm. and then Twitter is E underscore is for Everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I mean, it's so hard to find <laughs> the name at this point. <laughs> Every time I have a new thing, it's like, oh man. Well, and all the social links are on the website too. Yeah, so, so just go to yeah. the website. Yeah, everyone, and that makes it easier. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, well, thanks for coming over yeah. and chatting with me about this. Thank you. This Probably. is great. Yeah. So. uh and they'll just send any questions directly to you. Yes, for, uh, through the website, <laughs> all the forms. Yeah, right. we get all of them. We read all of them. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Right.